Morning everybody. Heidi here, the Yorkshire Crafter. How are you all doing? Um, first things first, I just want to let you know, when, I, when you all comment, I personally um, am the one that writes the comments back to you. I just wanted to clear that up. Um, and also, um, somebody's mentioned um, saying I should set up um, the Yorkshire Crafter Facebook group where you can all come in and show what you've done, whether it's off one of my videos or what have you, and it's just between us. Um, but I also think that you could put what you've made, so if you want, I can have a go and do it. Um, do a video if that's okay with everybody else. If you put your card and say you'd love to see it recreated, I'm quite happy to have a go at something like that and do something like that. So if you'd like, just let me know. Um, just a reminder, anything I make right now in these videos is going out to you lot. There's another two going out today. I'm going to make four cards now. They will also go out today. Um, these are nice simple cards. So if you want um, happy mail or birthday mail, down below I'll put my email address. Just send me your details and I'll send you some happy mail. So, something else. I got today some really smooth, um, I don't know how to word it apart from not shiny, um, slates. Got a cork back in, so you'd use it um, as a coaster or you'd put it on the stand. So, I got some round ones as well. So, I'm just trying it out. So, I put looping on. Um, I covered him in clear embossing. It won't take the clear embossing. I can't heat it up. So that's okay. It's all right at the moment. But what I'm going to do, because I work with resin anyway, um, sometimes I don't get it right. Sometimes I do. Um, I'm just waiting for some stands to come for when I've resined it to stand them on. And I'm going to resin that today. Now that's done in permanent ink, so it shouldn't smudge. But I wanted to do like I'm going to do on these cards. And I'm going to stencil around it. But I'm going to stencil with the elements on the cards. I don't think it'll take on the tiles because it's water based. It'll probably run with the um, resin. So I'm actually going to try it with a different colour versifying and just do it lightly. And I'll just give it a go and then I'll let you know how it, how it goes and if it works. I mean it's just stunning on there isn't it? So, but I also got um, Logan, and he's a bit big, he don't fit. I don't think he fits this one either. No, he doesn't even fit that one. Oh, uh, at a push. I mean, that could be okay if you want to put a sentiment there. Mm, I might have a go at it. But I just got these just for trial, because I knew they wouldn't work on smooth anyway, so I'll keep you updated with that. Right, let's crack on with the cards. So we're doing Logan and Lupin. I made some of these cards and I put the picture on Facebook. I didn't make a video. And then I had so many messages saying, can you please do a video? And it was the easiest card you'll ever do. You don't have to have these stamps. You can do it with any stamps. So I'll crack straight on and let you have a go at it. So I'm doing top fold just because I already had these prepped. No specific reason and I'm just going to do four different colours so first of all I'm going to stamp them up I'm going to do two looping looping that's right isn't it and two logan yeah looping and logan thought it sounded a bit strange then and of course I'm going to clear emboss these not only do I do it because I um, never know what media I'm going to use I do it because I think it looks nice when it's shiny. So like I did in the cards that I put on the internet, I'm just going to give that a wipe. Um, I'm just going to sit them in the corner. I did these just for plain and simple. I don't do any grounding, no nothing. I just put them there. And I need some thank you cards to send out to you guys. So that's what these are for. 
I'm just going to do four of these and these will go out with today's other four that I've already got um, written up. So you have to bear with me. I mean, I do have lots of cards I can send out, but they're not ones that, you know, that I've done on video. And I, I would prefer to do it that way. Right, let's just... I'll eat them all up at the same time. I mean, this this card, Easter, birthdays, sympathy, um, literally anything, just a, a hello. Today, mine are going to be thank yous. Literally just anything. Which is a good thing, really, isn't it? Because sometimes you just need to have a bulk of cards I mean after a party or anything you want to say thank you looping does the job and you can use any stencil I just chose two stencils today but absolutely any stencil will do for it yeah it doesn't have to be any certain one, just just my choice of ones that I've picked today. And I'm only picking two so that I'm not having to mess about so much. So it's just to give you the ideas. Seeing as though, like I say, I were asked to do it. I would never have done this video. But I must admit they are some of my favourite cards. I think I'm into just plain and simple at the moment, which is quite nice that was always my go-to especially if I were struggling um you know creative wise if I weren't doing it couldn't get anywhere if I lost my mojo this was my way not to get um, um going again just to to make me feel like I won't let myself down if you like because when you can't do something, you're struggling, it's like, what's wrong with me? I don't think that's so much anymore because I know I'm not alone now. Right, I'm just sticking back on there. Right, this is the first time stamping Logan, so I'm going to stamp him off first. I know a lot of people smudge him to prep him for stamping, but I've never done that. Isn't that stunning? There is so much detail on these. These are my favourite stamps ever. Out of the hundreds that I have in my craft room, these are my favourites. See, even first time. That's spot on, is that? Right, we'll get this on the cards. Yeah, you guys, let me know what you want to do about. That's mucky. Oh, that's, my hands must be filthy again. Oh, look what I've done. That's okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I have another one here. I'm just going to clean my hands. I was listening to a Tracy on one of her videos the other day, and she was saying, how come? She was on with Jamie, and she said, how come? When she's creating, her hands get absolutely filthy, like mine do. And yet you've got Joe, whose hands are absolutely spotless all the way through it. I thought, yep, yeah, I can relate. I'm going to move that then. Yeah, it did make me laugh, did that. But it's not just me. I always have maybe 50, 60 card blanks ready always I just like this you never know when you're going to need them do you right, we'll go there is that one there I mean you could make this card in five minutes um, because I'm, I'm having a natter here and doing more than one I was talking to somebody else this morning Sue I think it was 
um, and she was saying that it was nice that I interact with everybody and take time to talk to you all and I thought that was really nice so when you leave a comment on somebody's channel I just think it's amazing when they reply back because because you're messaging them you you think that everybody's going to read them and take time to message you back I mean I do that's what I do I look forward to it once I've posted a video I'm like every two minutes I'm checking to see if you've sent me a message oh, I love it and I love sending the cards out because I know when somebody receives it it's appreciated I mean I don't even send my daughter a birthday card or anything not that I made because she doesn't she doesn't keep them she doesn't she's not interested so I don't send them one. Oh, I have sent them in the past and I don't write in them. I write on a post-it note and I put it inside. And then when she's opened it, I take it back off. Because <laughs> I'm not wasting it. It takes a lot of money and effort and time. So it made her laugh when I put a post-it note in. I've done it with my husband. In fact, with my husband now, I give him the same Christmas card every year. And it's one with the cavalier king charles on it and it, it's not even a, a good card it's just that we've got a cavalier and i don't know i just keep giving them it. it's not a good card at all it's when i first started making cards i've only been paper crafting for two years so i mean i've always done other sort of like knitting and painting with stones and i've always done stuff like that but never out to do with paper crafts so it's it's quite nice in fact here we go this is the card that i send him every year that was one of my first cards i ever made and all it is is cut off another card with a piece of craft over the top that's it uh, yeah i'd see if i hadn't even written in it because i'm not on a post-it now so i keep that up all year round and then he gets it every year. Right, I'll eat these up. See, these are the cards that I used to make. This is what I made for Toba. Yeah, that's what I made for Toba. And see, I keep that up now. I have uggins and uggins of die cuts, um, dies and stamps and all things like this. This was one my son asked me if I could make a card that I'd all crafted stuff on for somebody at his work. It turned out he wanted me to make it so that he could give it me himself. Sly. But I enjoy making them. Oh, I can do cards like that if anybody wants them. Wants me to go through them. Now I'll just eat these up. I know I said it quick cards, but I, I have been that into you, haven't I? I might have made the mistake of not um um da, 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 da. I know what I wanted to say. Um oh my goodness. Antistatic. I haven't put any anesthetic powder on. But then I'm only stenciling over the top anyway. I'll never get tired of seeing this when it turns. Just look at that. This gun's really hot. See the difference? It's so dark when you've um, eat it up. I love it. Yeah, we have to open them all out. And also, stamping straight onto cards makes it cheaper as well. It's not often I do this. It's not often I see anybody do it, to be fair. 
obviously when you're doing the scenery ones you do. Let's see what it looks like now. I've just been downstairs before I did this because a new postman had been. So I expected my parcel. And he didn't bring it. And I got my um, email from Mail Mail yesterday saying that it's coming today. Oh, never mind. I just checked and all to see what were on it because I can never remember. That's why I ordered more than one stamp. I've got nearly all the pound ones twice. But yeah, and I had a look and I thought, oh yeah, and now I still can't remember what I ordered. And I've just looked. Nobody tells you this that getting old thing is as bad as you as bad as, bad as it is. See I can't even speak. I didn't think I'd be one of those people that goes into a room and then forgets what I've gone in for and ends up doing something else. I do it all the time when I come in here I'll say to the husband, I'm just nipping up to the craft room a minute. And then he'll ring me and they'll say, are you coming back down? I'm like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> so you see how simple this is going to be? I mean, obviously, like I say, I'm doing four. If you're just doing one, it's the easiest card you can put together and it's one of the most lovely thank yous you can have or a birthday or... I'm going to get rid of that because it's got powder all over it. Just put it to the side. Right. It gets everywhere because it's gone through there and all. So, we'll um, stencil them up. I'm going to get all the excess powder off. They have got a lot of powder on them. What was I doing? Just wipe it on the pyjamas. I do live in pyjamas. I've got more pyjamas than I have clothes. Right, so first stencil. I'm going to do one of each. So I'm just going to use the one that I used the other day. Oh, do you know? Well done, well remembered. I have to mask it, don't I? This is really going to slow me down, I'm really sorry. In fact, I could possibly add a looping. Where's my looping mask? I'll just stamp them and cut them out and we can have a matter. This is the bit that I normally do up front, isn't it? Well, you can watch me um, fussy cup for a change. Right, let's stamp it up. If you need masking paper, this is the best masking paper you'll ever get. I used to use a different brand and I swore by it. And now I swear by this. And my other one came from America, so you had to wait a while and pay all the charges. Right, where's he gone? Here he is. I'm sorry about this. So when I'm um, cutting a mask, I don't cut all the round all the um, whiskers and what have you because they don't tend to affect it when you're um, doing your stenciling if it goes over it you can't see it can't believe I didn't do this prior right guys shall we have a sing song or a, a natter where's my scissors Oh, 
Oh. I can't do it without them. There you go. This might not be neat because I'm going to rush through fussy cutting. Normally I would take a lot longer because I like my fussy cutting to be quite accurate. I'll just chuck this out of there. Tell you what I came across today that I've got. I've got the stamping blocks and I've still never used them yet. I'm going to lot them because they are look at that already smudging I'm not bothered with this smudge but I don't want them on my cards yeah look at that wow who knew right remind me to wipe my hands before I touch my cards all right let's cut them out this will be a super quick that's uh I don't normally I normally take a lot more time than this I make sure when I'm because I'm gonna do it um stencil over it. You wouldn't see the bits of white around it anyway because you're not doing full colour. So it's easy enough to cut out. Like I say, you're just mainly cutting around the main body. And if you think you're not very good at fussy cutting. Don't kid yourself. I've always said I was no good at fussy cutting until I bought a pair of these. And now I don't mind fussy cutting at all. I know some people use really tiny scissors, but I can't, I can't control them. I'm rubbish with them. And these are, um, yeah, piskers. I think most of my scissors are Fiskars or the Tim Holtz ones but I've never had any like this before and I saw these on a video that's why I ended up buying them so I'm just gonna poke into the middle of that she says actually do you know I'm gonna cut up the side of his foot because he's only a mask I'm cutting up the side of his foot because we can put it back together when we Start stenciling. There we go. I mean, you didn't have to make a mask if you if you want to do it round and think you can do it without touching. Logan or Lopin. I mean, you're a better person than me because I can't, not at all, but there is that option. That's it, it only takes two minutes and it doesn't have to be accurate. He's so big, is Logan, I didn't realise. I love him. I want one. Can you hear Alexa? She's come to join us. I can't believe that it didn't bother you guys. You've been so, so kind about her. I think I get to the point where I don't hear her, but then when she gets really loud, it's like, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. It must be really strange for you all. <laughs> if you watch any other videos, they're all done in nice, quiet craft rooms, aren't they? Not me. I hope, like I said before, it always bothered me. I wanted to edit it all out, but you've all, none of you want me to edit it. You all want to see the real time and which includes Lexi, I'm afraid. And it's easier for me, so I appreciate that, thank you. He 
it takes a bit more cutting out than looping but we're getting there that's something else and no, all don't move your scissors just move your paper and it honestly it'll just um move around on its own you'd be surprised i could never understand that when people used to say it on the videos just move the paper until i got it into the knack of doing it and then it was like oh my it's a bit easier Done. I'm sorry I had to do this in front of you. Like I say, cutting off the whiskers because the whiskers are already on the paper and the stenciling won't make much difference to them. And because he's um, heat embossed and clear embossing, you can wipe over it and it takes the ink off anyway. That's always a good thing. There you go. Right, just get rid of this. Wipe your hands, Ida. Right, so I'm going to wipe my hands with a clean cloth. That should do the job. Right. Let's mask them up. Best thing about these is the backing that they come on. You can put it back on. It's like acetate. But I just literally, I've got in my wall, if you look at my craft room tour, they're all on my wall in front of me. I don't know why Lupin's not there. Because I definitely use the mask. So just mask over him. And if you notice, see that that's where I split it. It doesn't matter because you literally just over his. Oh, I think Postman's here. Lexi might start barking. There you go. I'll cover this one up, and I'll use the same mask for the other two as well. His ears on. This on. Oh, that was easy. I thought this one was going to be difficult to put on. It's easier than I thought. I know his legs wonky there. I'll move that. I'm there. Where's me? Doofa. There we go. Oh, look what I've done. I've done it on both of them. <sighs> right, well, you're going purple then. And you're going... Um, green. That should cover it up. I think maybe I should have actually eat embossed them as well. Right, this is Mermaid. One of my favourite on here. Do you know what? I think it's gonna smudge the black into it. I'm just gonna go over it with ink in a minute. Don't know if it'll make a difference. Look, I've got it filthy. Up here, down here. Let's try. That looks clean to me. Right, let's give it a go. Where's the stencil? So you just, it's going to be dark around um, looping and then come out 
white and I'm going to do it dark down here because that's where the mark was. That's gone now. Yeah, and just a bit lighter as you go out. I'm going to make him, I don't normally go this dark, but I want to make sure that's covered up. That is definitely covered up, you can't see it now. I don't think it's going to be as easy on Morgan, so just right light towards the edges. Take it down into the corner nearly. There you go. That's looping done. And I think because of the mark, I'm going to stick with the same stencil and I'm going to try and cover them marks up with the... I was doing four different colours, but it doesn't really matter. So it's really bad down here. I'll cover that up. Here's what you can do with a bit of ink, isn't it? Like I say, you're doing it dark around him. Where's the other mark up here? Won't be as easy to cover up, but... Oh, it's gone. Yep, I'll take that. I'm just going to do a little bit of dark around his neck here. Around his ears. I'm leaving this bottom bit clear here for the sentiment. I mean, you can stamp over it, it doesn't really matter, but I want it to stand out on its own right. So I think that's enough. Yes. I mean, you can bling these up as well if you want, but oh, I don't know. Did I last time? I can't remember. I will have a look. Yes, I did. So, I'll just bring these sticky ones in and we'll decide which we're going to put down. Right, so now I need to take the mask off. And you'll see what I mean. Let me just go wipe over it about the it not bothering the whiskers and stuff. And that takes any excess off the stencil as well. Uh, look at that. See, it, it hasn't bothered the airs, the anything. I just think that's stunning. And so easy. So, using the same mask. And one of the reasons I wiped it is because I don't want it to be this colour. I know you're going to use it twice, but save it again. You'll be able to use it over and over. Take this one off. Ooh, I'm, I'm desperate to see what he looks like. Oh my. I mean, you could also colour him in. Look at that. You don't see that in a shop, do you? Yeah, you can colour him in. I've seen um, Tracy colour him, colour him in with the elements. Well, it will loop into colour it, and it was just amazing. I think the first time I stamped him was to colour him in, but I liked it too much in um, black and white. Can't get that ear to fit, and it's the same stamp. That will do nicely, thank you. Doesn't matter about his feet because the black. Right, where's my doodah? Open now. There we go, that will do. So I think we're going to do 
Um, oh, if you didn't watch my video yesterday, look. Do you, do you remember I killed it, didn't I? It's dead. I got my new one. It's my favourite. Right, because we're doing hearts, I'm actually going to go with the Emperor Red. Now, I don't know what this is like over a stencil. Um, I know it's got marks on, but it shouldn't bring these off. I haven't cleaned it properly yet. It's been done with um, a wipe, but it hasn't been done properly. So let's have a look what this is like. Well, that's not even made. So that's been used with the wrong one, hasn't it? I used the Merlot on it, I think. Oof, that's, oh dear, I don't like that. Not for this. Um, no, I don't want to go red. It's too red for me, is that? I don't have the lighter one. I'm going to go with the, let's see what the violet's like. Yeah, I like that better. Right, same thing again. I'm not going to put any ink on yet. So you're going dark around, open, and then lighter towards the, the further out you go. So it's light anyway, so I'll do it. And then I'll go a bit darker on Yeah, that's better. I don't know if there is a pink in elements. Confetti. There's confetti in there. Something tells me it was out of stock when I wanted it. Yeah, maybe got a bit carried away. Well, and we'll do the same way, Logan. Uh, not forgetting I'm leaving it blank down the bottom because that side's going to be where the sentiment's going to go. You can tape your stencil down if you want, but honestly, you, you literally, two seconds and you're done. Yeah, I'm going to leave that at that one. I'll take these down and wash them properly. Right, I just want to show you, sentiment-wise, I've had this a long time. I never used it. I, I used it once and it's absolutely full of birthday, sympathy, well done, love, great job, you did it, the world's your oyster. Just believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Absolutely full of amazing stamps and I think it was Crafter's Companion but it's old well it's about two year old that's how long I've been stamping so we're going to use four different ones out of there I'll keep my stencil put it on the wall oh no <laughs> I just found him I've just put the other one next to him now I don't ever throw them away. Silly woman. Right. So we're going to stamp. This one is You Are Too Kind. Thank you. And that's going to go on the bottom. That's a top one. That's um, that's a top one and that's a bottom one. Right. So I'm going to do a Marlin Nocturne. And I'm going to stamp them all off first. 
and ideally I would clear and bottom but I'm not going to today because we're dragging on again look at the time already hmm that needed another yeah I'll get these tiles um, resined and let you know I'm just waiting for the stands to come today to hold them while they're being resined it's got a lovely little mark through it. It looks like it's not stamping up properly. Well, we're going for it. So this one's going on the bottom. Hands. Keep your hands off. I could use my stamping platform. It's very rare I use it these days. Although Hero Arts have got a new one out. And I'm very, very tempted. But I think it's like 100 quid. But the repositioning of it and everything. And you can do um, Mandela reefs and stuff like that on it. It's very, very clever what they've done. Right, that's one. We'll be to there in a minute. This one is thank you for your kindness. Like I said, I wanted all um, thank you cards for you guys. So four of you will be getting these. Sorry they're a bit plain. Lexi, she's very loud again. Yeah, sorry you're getting plain ones, but I've got a lot of addresses now. So I just want to catch up and then... I'll go back to giving the other ones out. Well, I'm saying the other ones. I mean, I'll make some more more complicated ones, if you like. Any that I make, should I say, will be sent out. And if it's your birthday, um, I tend to send a bookmark with it as well. I hope you all read. <laughs> it's not like you can pass it on either because I signed the back. Unless, if you guys want me to just leave the back blank, let me know if you're gonna if you're wanting to pass it on to somebody else, and I'll leave it blank. You never know. I may be famous one day. Be worth a bob or two. I wish. No, I couldn't call with the head. Right, that one doesn't look like it's going to... Nope, I knew it weren't. Maybe these are the ones that you rub over first. I'm not, not the best. But they are when they're, once, when they're eventually done. I don't know, I'm even getting these straight. really are beautiful aren't they? This is absolutely way better than the shop bought card and so simple. Way better. That's definitely not going to stamp straight away. You could see it. Right, we'll just put a bit of bling on and I'll let you get off and try it. Put a nice little coloured envelope with them and you just, you can't go wrong, you've cracked it. Right, a bit of bling. So... We want purples and blues, don't we? That'll go for that one. These are mainly all um, Alta New. Alta New and Concord and Night, and I've had these for such a long time. 
Now then, I don't have a purple. Oh, I do. I absolutely do. It's nice to actually start using them again because they're just there. Let's put some of these on. I like these ones and all because they just stick. So, we're going to go one down here. Thank you, Lexi. One there. And a small one there. And I'm actually just going to leave it at that because it's so big. I'm leaving that. That's one. I think, oh no, I'll put him some up top, I think. I always go for an odd number. I know people say it's rule of them and what have you. But I do, I do it mainly for me. It's no OCD or anything. I just think it looks nicer. Um, I'm going to go a bit higher. No, I'm not going to put any up there. No, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it. Onto the purple. Actually, eggplant is it? Yep, eggplant. Bit of useless information for you. My daughter's allergic to eggplant. There you go. <laughs> like you really want to know that. Got one allergic to eggplant and one allergic to penicillin. And Andy, I won't call him Ubi, Andy, my husband. Is also allergic to penicillin. And I'm allergic to nothing. Sometimes we show allergic to chocolate. It's a lot easier than dieting, won't it? Right, guys. There you have it. A bit of bling, not going to get to use it. So, two different colours in the Logan. I mean, come on, you can't not be happy receiving that, can you? It's not often I think my own cards are lovely, but I would love to receive that. And then you've got your little pin. I just think they're stunning and so easy. So, guys, there you go. Four of you out there will be receiving these. And until my next video, happy crafting. Bye.